South Africa has got the highest UV content in daylight around the world. Can this be harvested effectively and cost effectively within a built environment on facades of buildings? To test this, a solar research laboratory was established as part of the Tseri Motsetse House facades. The use of photovoltaic wafer cells in laminated glass is a method of balancing the heat load, glare and natural light as well as external views in the building. It's got the opportunity of being a visual communication tool that there is a definite attempt at being more green and responsible for the occupant of the building. And secondly, it is using existing technology in a more innovative way. The use of e-glass, or more specifically tropiglass, which was developed by the University of Edith Cowan in Australia, is a world first being used in buildings in the world. E-glass or tropic glass actually consists of lamination of nanoparticles which filters UV rays out of natural light being left into the building. This is then converted into DC current on the edge of the glass. The research project has the potential to revolutionize PV glass and using glass as a method of generating energy worldwide and the knock-on effect of this technology being utilized in more than just vertical facade cladding systems, but also into automotive or other industries could follow. Hi, I'm Bayer Schlabert from SNI Architects. We believe this project has the potential to set a new norm for integrated facade design and solar energy.